G'day, I'm Matt Formston, a Paralympian, pro surfer, businessman and proud family man. I had full vision until I was five and I lost 95% uh, of my uh, peripheral vision and I lost all my central vision when I was about five years old. So um, central vision is basically if you look through the middle of your eyes, so through two toilet tubes, that's, that's sort of tunnel vision and central vision. I can't see that part of my vision at all. So I've lost about 95% of the rest of it. When I was growing up, my parents supported me, but they were also pretty hard. My dad never, uh, never sort of said, yeah, this is going to be easy or um, I'll do it for you. Um, or it's okay for you to, to make an excuse because of your eyesight. So, um, although it was a bit hard sometimes because they, I'd always get pushed to, to, to try things and to, to find a way, by giving me that skill set to be able to always find a way, um, and I mean they helped me along the process, they were always there in the background helping me find the way, but it showed me that no matter what other people said that I couldn't do something, and there was a lot of times in my life where there's been people say, there's no way you could do that, I've turned around and been able to do that, so my life experience is, regardless of what anyone says, can't, I, I've then been able to do those things and um, the, the support I had for my family growing up showed me that so that uh, as an adult now I know whenever anyone says can't, if I really choose to do something and it's in my heart, I probably can. I didn't use a cane growing up. I learned to use skills like patterning and maps and echolocation, which is using the, set, the, the sound from the environment and how it bounces off objects to, to know what's coming up. Um, but as I got older and now that I travel a lot by myself and, and in airports and the like, um, I realised that I needed a cane and I went to Vision Australia who, who were able to, to give me a cane and, and train me how to use that. Um, and I don't use it all the time, but when I need to use it and pull it out and when I'm overseas and the like and I need that support, it, it's there. And um, that's been something that's been a bit of a game changer for me. As I was, when I was growing up, I, uh, the only option for me to read was Braille and um, stupidly for me I chose not to, to learn to read Braille because I didn't think it was cool and I just refused to do it. But uh, look, these days Vision Australia are able to help people with, with vision loss find devices like, so even my watch, my watch reads to me so I can, I can listen to the time on my watch and I can, I can hear the weather on my watch, I can send a message on my watch and I do all that through talking to my watch and listening to my watch. Those little pieces of technology are just a breakthrough for blind people and it's pretty hard to try and work out what those pieces of technology are unless you've got an expert to help you along the way and guide you through that and the staff at Vision Australia are obviously well adapted and, and trained up to be able to help people with vision loss and, and, and blindness find those pieces of technology that really enable them to be able to, to live the life they dream. Like I've been able to, to, to live the life I choose and the reason I've been able to do that is because of support like from organisations like Vision Australia.